What is up everybody? It's me, Clelea, your favorite YouTuber. Maybe, maybe not, I would hope so. Um, today I'm doing a little bit different of a video. I haven't done one of these in a little while. I figured I would just come and sit down. We could do a little chit chat. Don't mind the hair, I say this every video, but I just worked out. We're just embracing the curls and the, well obviously not because it's in a bun, but it's a good day but it's not a day to really, really get ready. So that's okay. Sometimes we have those kinds of days. Anyways, today I asked all of you guys to ask me questions. There's been a lot of different questions because I am not at college currently. Life has completely changed now. It's not too big of a change, but it will be a very big change in a little bit. And things are just really, really changing right now. I feel like I'm at that stage where it's like an in-betweener stage. So there's like a stage and then there's like a in-betweener stage and then another stage and right now I'm in that in-betweener stage where everything's changing and then it'll be normal. I, I don't know, maybe life's just always changing. Anyways, I'm gonna stop talking so much. Actually, that's not true because this whole video is just me talking. So, let's just get right into the video. First question is, what is your dream job? You know, actually, this is something that has changed recently. Um, I think it still definitely is I want to do YouTube. I want to be like an online, it's not quite yet an influencer, but like an online person. Wow, I can't think today. Um, I think YouTube's not going to be my end goal. I think there's something else at the end of the line. I would really like to get my um, jewelry company and my online business up and running more. Maybe start doing blogs, travel blogs. Obviously, we will do YouTube for me and my husband. Um, we'll do YouTube until we decide to stop, but I don't think that's gonna be a full thing that we do. It'll. That's something that I'm working towards ending eventually. Um, and I would really, really like to become a stay-at-home mom. I think one big thing is I want to be able to work, but I also really, really want to be able to spend that time with my kids and really be able to make memories with them and be there for them. And so I think that's one thing I'm really starting to realize is I'm wanting to do more. Like that, I want that to be the top thing and then work under that. So that's why I think these online things is a really great option because I can still keep my kids and family up above all those other things. Are you planning on going on a mission? Wow, we're just getting right into it. I have never actually announced this, but yes, I am planning on going on a mission. It's a really cool story, the reason why I decided. I had been wanting to for a little while and then I freaked out and I was like, I don't know if this is for me, I don't know what I should do because I do have you guys, I have my online business, I have all these things that I would be sacrificing for um, a mission and if you guys don't know what a mission is a mission for a girl is a year and a half and then for a guy it is two years um, it is uh, something that a lot of kids and as we grow up we dream of being able to do because service is a big thing in our church and a lot of people think that this is something that is really heavily heavily put on us but my parents have been supportive with me through it all. All my family has been supportive of me, whether I do go, whether I don't go, because it is something that is specifically for you. It is something that, like, this is something you specifically need to decide on because it will change your life. And so it is not, like, required. It's not required at all. It is something that people would hope you do, but it's not, it's not like, I don't know, it's, there's a lot to it, but I have decided to go on a mission and I am very excited. I will be going next year when I turn 19. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited. Is it hard being away from your family? I'm guessing you're talking about when I was in college and I will say no, it actually wasn't. I love my family, I adore them. Um, I love being home, but I think I'm in the time of my life where it's time for me to move on, not move on, not move on from my family. But it's time for me to spread my wings, go and figure out me. And so I think being in college, I have been really needing something like this for the longest time. So I have been more than ready for it. I was very sad before, but I think being in college, I'm very happy where I am at the moment. And now that I'm home, I'm very happy where I am at the moment. And I am also very excited to go back to college. But there's your answer. Are you returning to SVU this fall? 
I think I basically answered that in the last one, but yes, I will be returning to SVU in the fall. I plan to graduate from SVU. Um, me going to college is a little bit different. My reasoning and like what I'm doing in college is a little different than a lot of people. And so, uh, I yes, I do plan to graduate in business and just soak up all the, all the college experience and all the classes and learn as much as I can and just have lots of fun. When are you planning on getting your own apartment and will you be living with your boyfriend? Well, this is a good question. Jothan is going to be leaving on a mission at the end of this summer, so he will not be coming back to SVU for the next two years. And uh, um, so no, I will not be living with Jothan. And I plan to get married before I end up living with anybody. And uh, yeah. Um, I am going to be living in the same apartment I did last time. I don't know, I think I'll wait to get an apartment or buy a living space once I am married because I think that's just uh, super confusing, a lot of money, because I would be going from this apartment that I have to then buying another one and then getting married and then buying another one over the space of a short amount of time. And so I do not plan to get another apartment. As much as I want to, I want to so badly move into like my own apartment somewhere where, I don't know, there's less like rules or like, I don't really know. I haven't really put much thought into it, but I wish I could. But I will not be doing that. What skincare products do you use? So, funny story, I actually don't. I, obviously my face is not perfect. You can see I've got little, that's actually a scar from another funny story. Maybe I'll tell later. But you can see I do have splotches. My face isn't perfect, but for some reason I was really, really blessed with clear skin. And so I don't have much acne. Um, I obviously shower often so that like the oils don't like when I work out the oils don't seep obviously I do get a lot of acne right here but I don't use many skin product care products sometimes I will use the Biore nose strips for my nose sometimes I will wash my face um, I like to use Biore Biore is amazing um but that's about it I really don't know why my face is this way I wish I could tell you guys why but no idea does it feel weird that you are back with your family? It does feel very weird because I'm an adult now, but I'm not at the same time because I'm still 17, but I did move out and I used to have like my own routine. I was always out doing stuff. So being home is a little different because I do have to follow my parents' rules. I do have to follow like our schedules. So I don't have my own schedule. Obviously I have a little more freedom, which is nice, but I still have to follow their schedule. So it is a little weird, but it's all good. It's not too bad. What are some things you had to adjust to when having a boyfriend? Obviously the first one is having a boyfriend. I think that's a big adjustment because you go from it all being, being about yourself, but not, if you guys know what I mean. Um, to having someone so it's a lot more emotional work I feel like and I'm not saying like being with Jothan isn't like a lot of emotional work obviously I think being with any guy is or girl is gonna be a lot of like it's a big change but honestly he's a really really incredible guy he's amazing and so it hasn't been it hasn't been bad at all it hasn't been bad whatsoever actually but I think I don't know I think just having to care for another person, having to like be more patient, I think. Um, I think that was, that's like just an adjustment, but I think you do that with any guy or any girl, so. Will you date other people while Jothan's gone or is he still your boyfriend? He is still going to be my boyfriend. Um, we, I will still, it's, it's a weird, weird thing, but we are not breaking up. We will be doing long distance while he's out there. Obviously, there are some changes to our relationship because we can't be as clingy because he needs to go out there and he needs to do the work. He needs to be able to focus on himself, focus on the Lord and serving the people where he is going to be. And I am beyond excited for him. Obviously, there have been plenty of tears shed, so I am very, very sad. But he said he would love it if I date other people, so I will be going on dates with other people, but I will not be steadily dating. I am just going, having that dating experience, getting to know some people, and another big reason why I'm doing it is because I know that it'll make the time go faster. Because I think that if I don't spend all my time missing him and just wait, like, 
wallowing in my tears or whatever, it will make it a lot harder. And obviously I'm going to be so sad and I'm, it's, it's going to hurt like crazy. But I think if I go to college, I live my life, I am excited to be where I'm at and I'm still, I'm still supportive, still love being, still loving all those kinds of things. It'll make it slightly easier. It'll still be hard, but I'll grow how I need to grow and he'll grow how he'll need to grow. I hope that answered your question. How do you manage long distance? I really wish I could get Jothan. Um, I think I'll have Jothan explain like his side maybe. But for me, I think a big thing is letting them know that like you care for them or you love them. Um, uh, for me personally, we always have like FaceTime at night. So we always are able to talk about our day and be able to end the night on a good note. And I mean, over text, we could end it on a good note too, but just being able to see each other, being able to talk in like face to face to with each other is a really big thing that I think has helped. Um, always letting them know, like whenever you can, that you care about them, that you're missing them. That's been a big help. And then one big thing is sometimes like during the nighttime, if one of us is asleep and the other isn't because of the time difference, or we just go to bed at different times. Sending each other like paragraphs about like how much you care for them, all those kinds of things. That's a big thing that has helped me. Or even just during the day, just really when you have the chance to talk to them, really like focusing and being able to like be there for them because your whole relationship is over text now. And so you have to really, communication has really, like I'm really grateful for this time of long distance because I have like, learned so much and our communicating has been so much better but those three four things are big for me so i'll have jothan tell you his side now what's up guys so clay asked me to um kind of explain to you guys things that helps me with our long distance relationship and um it's it's kind of it's hard it's very hard and um there's times where you know, it's we can't we can't really text much because we both you know we're busy. We work and and I work I work two jobs and my time to text her is pretty limited. But I text her a lot as much as I can throughout the day, and so does she. And so we Facetime every night before we both go to bed. Um, I Facetime her during my lunch breaks. That just helps me get through the day. You know, just being able to see her you know on camera and talk to her. But something else that we do is we write each other letters still. Um, even if we can text, I just, I like letters. And so I wrote her a letter and she wrote me one and it actually got lost. Her letter got lost in the mail. So I haven't gotten it yet. That's okay. It'll be here soon enough. And it's, it's always good to kind of make time to visit, I think in person, just so that you're not, you know, you don't feel too disconnected. And so I think visiting for a little bit, even if that may be a few days, just to see them, I think is also very important. It makes it to where you can always look forward to something. Yeah, we do as much as we can. We talk as much as we can. And we are always, you know, know each other. We know what we're doing. We know each other's schedule. So it's it's the same, but it's different. It's really different. It's just the distance is very hard, but we make it work. And um, we still, you know, we still have a good time. And we're going to do one of those online dates, the movie thing. So... That'll be fun. So you just find ways and you find ways to make it work. But yeah, that's how that's what helps me. But love you guys. Now we will do the next question. What are you planning to do after college? I haven't really put much thought into it, but I hope to be married by then. I would like to move somewhere. I really don't know where. Everything has changed in the last year and a half, two years on like my plans. Cause I thought I had my whole plan ready. But then I realized that like, when you have a husband, there needs to be, they, they, <laughs> you need to let them put in like some ideas and like compromise. How are you doing mentally? That's a good question. Thank you so much for caring. Um, uh, I would say I'm doing pretty great. Obviously it's so hard being home, all the rules, all the different, well, not so much the rules, but just, it's so different coming back because you're now an adult and you made your own like decisions. You have your own schedule, but then coming back, I'm not quite yet an adult. So like, it's hard. It's very hard to balance it all. I have a long distance boyfriend. 
So it gets hard at times, but I would say I feel like I am pretty positive and Jothan plays a really big part in that. He helps me stay focused and stay like, because I get in moods all the time. You could ask Jothan. Um, and so he can, he really helps me to like get out of those moods. And I'm not saying I'm fully reliant on him for all these things because I can do it myself as well. And I think it's very healthy to not fully rely on them until you get married. Once you're married, then you guys can be relying on each other, but you should be your own person, I think. Like, it's really hard to explain, but the short answer to that is I'm doing great. I am so excited, like, for summer to have this break, to be able to travel with my family, see Jothan. <laughs> I get to see him soon. I can't wait. Anyways, it's been good. I've been great. Um, the last question we've got that has been asked a million bajillion thousand hundred bajillion times is stuff about me and Sophie. I've seen all of your guys' comments about wanting to see me and Sophie, where we are, what's going on. All I have to say is I am home now and so I do not see all of my friends at college. Sophie's got lots of other plans. She's traveling, she's going to school. You guys can see all of her stuff um, on her Instagram and stuff, but we I honestly don't know what's happened. I'm not as close with her now, I think because I had a boyfriend in college. Um, so things were great at the beginning. We were always hanging out, but near the end, Jotha and I started hanging out a lot more because it was the end of seeing each other. So the short answer is I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's going on. You can go ask her. I don't know if she will answer, like, or I have no idea, but Obviously, she's still my friend. I still care about her and I would love to still have a friendship with her But I have no idea what's going on. So there's the answer to that um, You will not be seeing many videos of Sophie and I especially during the summer You probably won't be seeing any unless I go up and visit her because She lives across the United States and it would take all day of flights a lot of money to go and see her. Anyways, that was a long answer. So there will not be videos. Hopefully when we go back to college, you might see her. I really don't know what's going on. I don't know what her circumstances are or anything. So there's your answer. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this helped you guys to better understand or hopefully gave you some tips. Um, I really love doing this video. So if you guys love these videos and want to see more, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you so much for caring about me and for supporting me. I love you all so much. You guys are amazing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.